Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Emily and I'm a makeup artist and I talk nonsense about nonsense and half my face doesn't work properly so I try my best to show you how to make your face look normal basically. Today we are going through the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Palette and I'm going to do each of the looks. So while you're here subscribe to my channel, like the video, tell all your friends about this weirdo on the internet and stay tuned because I will show you how to start with being a natural hun going all the way to this smoky scary my punch in the face and steal your boyfriend kind of hun which I would never do morning in the palette we have four different looks which she has separated out. So we have Happy Glow, Love Glow, Dream Glow, and Seduce Glow. And I'm gonna show you now, one palette, four looks, boom. I apologize for the state of me. I'm sick and also I've just woken up, so I'm puffy and I'm very attractive right now. So I'm gonna do my skin off camera because I don't think anything there has changed and this is about the eyes anyway. So I'm gonna do my skin and my brows and then be right back. Hello, I'm back. So I started with Happy Glow, which is the most natural of the selection. I've done my dodgy eye first off camera because there's no point doing that one on camera because nobody else has a dodgy eye. And um, speaking of, if you've noticed or if you've watched any of my previous videos, my face is looking a lot better. Like it's moving a lot more. I can blink and I can nearly smile. So we're getting there. It's all good. So I'm going to zoom you in so that we can do the other eye. Yeah, that should do. So the way that this palette is built, she's broken it down into prime, enhance and smoke. So you've got like a certain order in which to do things, which I don't know. Mm, it works, but in certain cases, I'm probably gonna do things a little bit differently. Now for this one, for Happy Glow, I have gone in the order that she sets it out in. So let's start with the first color in Happy Glow, which is that nice, just light kind of goldy tone. And I'm gonna sweep this all over the lid. Just using a nice little fluffy brush and getting this all over. And then to make that blend a little bit smoother, I'm actually just going to tap over it with the finger. Second shade is Enhance. I'm going to use a smaller bullet brush. This one is amazing. This is a Morphe M321. I actually picked up a load of little Morphe kind of detail eye brushes recently and they're so, so good. So this one. For that second shade in Happy Glow, the Enhance, we're gonna go in from the outer corner of the eye and pull that in through the crease and also kind of halfway onto the lid as well. I'm also gonna pop this one underneath the eye. Ow. I'm gonna take my fluffy brush again just to smooth things over. A little bit more of this. Now, the third shade is the smoke shade, which in there it's just a, a bronzy colour. So I'm going to use the same bullet brush again and go in with this right in that outer corner and through the crease. And then underneath as well. And then I'm using a teeny tiny little brush. This is another Morphe one. Um, that's so blind. M149. Got a really nice fluffy tip. So it's just really nice to softly blend out any dark colours without getting them kind of muddy or messy. <coughs> it's awesome. 
Now with this look for liner, I'm going to use the Audrey powder pencil. It's really handy, you can get it quite smoky or you can leave it quite natural so it's just a really good versatile product. Just going to sketch this along the top lash line and really close into the root of the lashes and then draw it out in a wee bit of a flick. And I'm going to take my little liner brush, this is just an Inglot one. Draw the flick out nice and sharp. I'm just going to smudge in the rest of the liner. And then I'm going to join up the top of my bottom. And there we have it. So this is look number one, which is Happy Glow. I'm going to zoom me out a little bit again. Happy <laughs> Glow. So this is Happy Glow, it's quite a natural, just kind of bronzy look, obviously it's it's nice warm tones, it's really nice with blue eyes, but it is those kind of shades that are flattering on everybody. I'm going to take a few little picks to pop them in, I'm not putting mascara on with it right now because I'm going to do three more looks and no way am I taking off full like mascara, my eyes are going to hate me if I do that. So I'll take some pics so you can see it properly and then I will be back with the next look. I am back and I have done the Love Glow look. Again, I started on my dodgy eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom me in a little bit more and do the good eye. So with this one, I am starting with the smoke shade. Sorry Charlotte, I'm taking that lovely pinky smoke shade on a bullet brush and starting from the outer corner of the eye, just starting to kind of pack that on so it's going to look a little bit whack at first. Trust the process. So I'm just kind of sketching out the shape that I'm going to want it to take. And then using that tiny little blending brush again, going in and softening out all of the edges without muddying it up too much. Well, it's handy to use such a small blendy brush. So this is a gorgeous kind of deep pink tone, which I think suits so many different eye colors, skin tones. And you can go really light with it. If you want it to go way lighter, you could use like a a fluffy brush like this would disperse it really loosely, would give you just a nice kind of wash of colour and just really diffuse the product nicely for you. So we've got kind of this shape, I'm going to bring it in a little bit more onto the lid. And you can see I use my fingers quite a lot to kind of soften up edges and things like that, it's actually really handy to do. Next, I'm going to use the prime shade, which is the first, the lightest shade in the Love Glow. I'm going to use it on a fluffy brush and take this from the inner corner onto the lid and up a little bit. I like a little bit of shimmer in, in there. And then lastly, the enhanced shade. This is a really nice kind of rose gold tone. It's almost got like a, a burnt orange to it as well, so I'm taking this on my ring finger and I'm just going to pat this on the centre of the lid and then using that fluffy brush again just softening it so it blends in with everything. A little bit more, you can build this up and intensify it nicely. I'm literally like Edward Scissorhands here. So we don't use, lose any of the smokiness. I'm going to take a little bit more of the first shade I used, the smoke shade, and just repack it onto that outer corner. Yeah. Underneath. And then another thing I did on the other eye, just kind of on a whim, and it's a little bit invisible, but it does, I think, make a difference to making the colour of the eye pop, is taking a little bit of that burnt orangey rose gold tone on the tiny brush I'm just popping it in the center of the under eye and it's kind of cute 
liner. So for liner, obviously this look, we're, we're getting smokier as we go up, so this one is a little bit more intense. So I'm using Barbarella Brown, which and I just have my brush ready to go as well. Let's start. Because this one is so waxy, you can really like manipulate it with the the brush. Perfect. I'm gonna zoom it back out. Ooh. Yeah. So me. <coughs> so I'm gonna finish off this look. I'm gonna pop on like my mascara, pop on a lip, finish the skin, and then I'm gonna come back probably tonight and do the next two looks and so that will be obviously I'm using natural light at the moment so when I do the next two I'll be using my light lights <laughs> honestly I'm just so messy with mascara and it doesn't when you're going for a kind of smoky look I suppose it's not the end of the world but I'm just a mess so mascara everywhere leave it do not touch it until it's dried because if you touch it, it'll swipe, it'll transfer, you'll ruin your whole face and cancel your night out. So when it's dried, it literally lifts right off because it's turned into a solid with a little combo. Have I got abs yet? Rude. Now, let's do a lip. I always sketch the liner all over. It just makes your lipstick last forever. And it's one of my best lazy girl, lazy girl tips. Then the lipstick that I'm gonna use is the, it's Pillow Talk lipstick but it's the glossy formula. It's really, really nice. It's like a balmy kind of glossy formula. And a really nice shine. Do you know how much I love a glossy shot? Okay, I'm gonna jet off because I am collecting mom from the tube station in about an hour and a half. So I need to hoover the house and wash the dishes and make sure everything is spick and span. So I'll see you all later tonight. It's tonight! No, I'm lying. It's tomorrow night. I filmed the first half, first two looks, on Sunday morning. And now, it's Monday night. And, even better, even better, there's wine. So basically, Mom came, we've been having a great time. Why not finish it now? Do the two looks, go on. So I touched up my face makeup because I wasn't wearing any eye makeup anyway. Pour myself a glass of wine, but I'm not stupid. I've also got some mega hydration going on. Cheers and let's go. Thank you. I'm gonna do, I'm so blind. Dream Glow, which is the beautiful greeny khaki up kind of colors. And I'm gonna go do the dodgy eye. I'll be right back. Different than who we are, creating space between us till we're set behind. We're soaring. If we try again, you were breaking free. Ooh, it was quick and it was easy. And it's nice and smoky. I'm gonna start. And this is something that makes it way easier. I'm going to start with a colour chameleon, which is a crayon shadow. I've spoken about them before, but this one is like a khaki colour, so it works really well under these shades. Let's see if I can... Mm. Mm. I'm going to start with the colour chameleon. And I'm literally like a hunchback of Notre Dame now trying to fit in to the frame. So with this, 
Step one, very technical. Draw a messy triangle. Messy triangle. And then using my little bullet brush, smudging it all out. So this is going to act as a base for the rest of the shadows so they'll stick really well, really quickly without too much building up. But also it just intensifies things easily as well so you literally don't have to do too much work at all with the rest of the shadows. So I am just softening the edges. I know they still look quite harsh, but apparently Charlotte Tilbury has never heard of a transition shade. Um, take a little blender brush and I'm taking that bronzy shade from Happy Glow, which I described as literally it's, it's kind of like a bronzer. You could do this with your powder bronzer either. And just kind of soften out the edges. It just gives it a little bit more of an easy blend under and on top. Blending out those edges. I'm gonna build it up a little bit more. And that's what I say to people, like women who don't have too much time in the mornings or are terrified of powder eyeshadows. All you need is one or two of these crayons and you've got a whole look. I'm taking that bullet brush again and going in with that dark khaki shade. I'm popping it over where we have the green crayon. Next, I am taking same fluffy brush that I used for the bronzy shade, but take your same brush, but just kind of mm, rub it off on your hand a little bit so that all the excess product is gone. And then take that nice light shade and pop that in her corner of the eye, all the way up to the brow bone, because why not? And onto the lid. Then taking the mid shade, which is a nice kind of, sort of grey. Colour on the ring finger again. I'm just tapping that over the lid. Taking that blendy brush and just flick, flick, flicking it. Now I am going to use the Rock and Coal liner in bedroom black. Black Emily using black eyeliner. What? Are you drunk? Yeah. Doing a tight line first. Then I didn't do like a wing with this, I just started sketching it into the upper lash line. You went thicker towards the outer edge, joining up the top and bottom, and then using the same liner brush and just switching it out really, and then pulling it. Outward. So I haven't drawn a flick on, but I have pulled the liner outwards to make that kind of shape. Ta da! Again. Ooh! <sighs> so, khaki, smoky, ace. I have not put mascara on because. I'm gonna take this off and do the next look, which I will put mascara on with. I'm gonna put a lip on with this because I feel like this eye look looks amazing with Walk of Shame. So I'm gonna pop that on. Hold on. Hold on. Please Walk of Shame. That is so fresh. Breaking in a fresh lipstick. some pictures so that you can see me mm -hmm. this one's gonna be intense so I've tried my best I mean big smokiness and sharp liner is not my forte on myself I'll do it on a client I'll do it on anyone else in a second and it's great but on myself just not what I would normally do. So I've tried and I mean, it's 
sticking with, again, sticking with the parameters of the actual palette, which is three colours. I've just used three colours. I've given it my best shot, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna just get a badge. I'm gonna zoom you in again. Hold on. So let's start. Once again, starting quite messily. So what I'm gonna do is take the, well in the palette it's black, but it's, it's not black, it's, it's a dark navy. It's not black and it's quite hard to blend. Don't, don't try and put it over a base. Don't try and put it over a base of any sort because it'll just go completely smudge arsed. So I'm gonna start with smudgy brush, navy shade, quite messy, drawn a V. So you can see straight away, it's not black. And that it's quite mm, blotchy. But I mean, we'll... Great, great sketchy V going on. A little teeny tiny brush to blur out the edges. I don't necessarily want to move anything. Just want to make it look better. I'm really really light. And I've said it before but I'll say it again. You need to be really light handed and if you can't get light enough with your hand, hold your brush right at the end and it forces it to be lighter. It diffuses it really really nicely rather than holding your brush like a pencil and dig 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 it in because that'll just make you mucky AF. Because you can smell your fear. And it's gone really smudgy where I want it to be like the deepest, so building it up some more. Oh, it's got a lot darker than the other eye. Way darker than the other eye. Wait, let me just even them up real quick. They just removed eyeshadow. Literally just made a slight. Wiper and I'll <laughs> From a distance, the effect is alright. Next, I'm going to use the sparkly, sparkly shades, so the first of the three in this set on the ring finger. This is already way far. Oh, I hope it picks up nicely on cover. Hmm. Bit heavy handed, Emily. Calm down. That's why there's so much extra glitter everywhere. Okay. And then the middle shade, I'm just gonna get rid of this. Don't pretend that you don't do that. Middle shade. I get right on the middle. Ace. Ace! Get rid of that again. I'm gonna do my liner. Once again, Emily's using black eyeliner. What? I'm gonna start just by tight lining with the uh, rock and coal in bedroom light. And then, in the most out of character thing for me, I'm gonna use a liquid liner. <laughs> and then try and not smudge it out. Going up from the lower lash line first. Then trying it in with I'm gonna put it in a little bit as well because who do I think I am, Cleopatra? <laughs> it's not usually impactful because the eyeshadows are so dark already, but then I'm gonna even myself up some more. So a big thing when the big thing, when you've brought your eyeshadow out so much, it suddenly looks very weird with the eyebrow. So you can see on this side, I've brought that eyebrow right out. It goes with the eyeshadow. So you can do the same on the other side. And it's, it's quite simple when you have no eyebrows like me. Bring out the tail. And suddenly you have a long brow to match the wing. And then another thing, if you, like me right now, have done your base before your eyes, I'm gonna take a little bit of 
concealer on the back of my hand, a little fluffy brush, and we're gonna clean up underneath the eye really neatly. Well, really nicely. And it just tightens everything up nicely. See? Lifted and tight. A lip. Hello. And lashes. No. Lashes. So these are the Charlotte Tilbury red carpet lash. They are the first type of lash that I've been able to wear since the whole dodgy face eye situation. I've got the corner lashes as well and they're really really nice too. They're so nice for every day. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and like the video. The last video I did, admittedly, was a couple of months ago but in that video I announced a cute little giveaway of my favourite Charlotte Tilbury products. And I haven't given that away yet because I dropped the ball basically. I've been busy and I forgot about it but I still have products. I have products right here. They're not going out of date anytime soon. They've got a really long shelf life and they're the most fabulous Charlotte Tilbury products. So if you want to enter that you need to go back and you need to watch my last video because there I will tell you how to enter it. So do that and like and subscribe for more like this. I promise I will do more. I've made a plan. I've written a list and we all know when you write it down, when you write your list in your nice notebook, they're going to do the stuff. They're going to do the stuff, basically. So I've written it in my nice notebook. I'm going to do the stuff. Thank you so much if you've stuck it out this far. And I really, really appreciate you, Mom. Thanks for being my only viewer. Mwah.